my god i missed you guys it's been a while i haven't been recording because i've been working on me me yes i've been working on me so where do i start let me start by saying um 2020 was challenging for all of us and for me throughout this pandemic that we're still going through in 2020 i put on yeah so much weight in april about march or april of this year 2021 i was like it's, it's time to get this together i went in had a physical with my doctor and all my levels were up my sugar was up my pressure was mm, cholesterol is up like everything was out of whack so my doctor started talking to me about like medication to possibly take to control everything and I was like well let me just adjust my diet because I know I haven't been eating right so give me a chance to do that and she said okay fine I'll give you we'll do three month check-ins and when you come back we'll check your levels again and if things are you know leveling out and good then you just continue on your weight loss journey doing it the healthy way um and also getting everything back level went back checked in lost quite a bit of weight to date I've lost 28 pounds, which I'm very proud of. And my doctor said, okay, three months from now, which will be in October, we'll check back again. If you've lost more weight and your levels are going down, we won't do a medication thing and you'll just continue doing this study because you have the ability to turn all of this around if you change your weight. <laughs> so this channel now is gonna be more about cooking, easy, delicious, yummy dishes but they're going to be on the healthier side instead of having as many you know like heavy fried sweet all those types of dishes that we know are no good for us but are good every now and then i'm going to be focusing more on things that are healthier for you but still i'm going to show you guys how to make food that is delicious and healthy it's possible you can have a lot of your favorites that you love to eat, but you just gotta think of it in a different way and also not eat those things all the time. I mean, I was baking, I was making biscuits, bread, you know, pasta dishes, um, all types of pastries from scratch. Cause I basically cook everything. So since we were home, you know, during the pandemic and working from home, I was cooking everything myself and we just went bananas. So instead of having you know, those special things for the holidays or as a treat every once in a while, we were eating this, we were eating like this every day. You know, it was just, it was out of hand. So, I'm gonna show you things like, you know, my favorite sugar-free items that I use so that I still can have things that are sweet without eating a massive amount of sugar. I'm gonna show you guys how I cook in a low-carb way, not keto, but just, carbs but less of them I'm gonna show you like what my day-to-day -day cooking looks like on a healthier perspective if you guys follow me on Instagram you've seen the changes you've seen me like making all this like amazing delicious stuff and then you see me also make amazing delicious stuff that is more conscious more calorie conscious my fingernail popped up why Oh my god. I'm gonna take you along with me and today I'm gonna start off by showing you guys some of my favorite um, meals that I eat throughout the week. So let's go. So before we cook we have to shop and we have to get rid of all the stuff in our refrigerator and cupboards that we shouldn't be eating. So here's an example of how I shop bi-weekly at Trader Joe's. You can see um, some of the things that I buy and then on a weekly basis I go to my local organic farmers market and I pick up all my fresh
chicken for you. It's so good. I mean, look at it, it's crisp. It's still juicy. It's browned nicely. Mmm. Mmm. And look. Mmm. When I tell you, it's so good. Um, it's easier than using the oven. This chicken is fantastic. So, I don't even want to eat my vegetables. This is delicious. You guys, mmm, look at that. You gotta get yourself an air fryer. It'll simplify your life. You don't have to turn on the hot oven in the middle of the summer. That's really, that's the main thing. No hot oven in the middle of the summer. I usually do this or I'm outside on the grill. Either way, it's fantastic. I use my own spice blend that will be available to you guys soon and chef's kiss. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please make sure you like and subscribe and comment. That will definitely help this community and help my channel grow. And um, let me know if you try this recipe. I would love to know your thoughts and um, I wanna hear your comments. I love reading all the comments that I see underneath all the videos and I really appreciate you guys. So be blessed, stay well, stay safe. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video.